so I gotta pull up the floor in here. So I'm about to put these rails down. So I'm taking up the rubber floor. I'm not putting this back in because if you look at the bottom of this, this holds water. And you know, water causes corrosion and rust. I already pulled this side up. And this side I did like that one. I did that one down there. This one I'm just gonna use a razor to cut around it. Cause that's a lot of work down there. Then I'll use a razor down here. Use a razor cut along here so I don't have to take the headache rack out or whatever this thing called. Take that screw out, take this off, and then pull the whole uh, rubber mat out. I thought I could have got away with just, you know, taking this nut out, but they got rivets right here, so I can't take it out. I tried it yesterday and realized I have rivets, but I'll show y'all it when it's done. All right, cut that out on this side, bolted these back down, so that's pretty, pretty secure. Now, pull this up right here, try to cut it underneath it to make it look a little neat, just a little neat, you know, but the wood is going to cover all of that. Now, got to take this out and take this off and we should be in business all right so we got this out um i had to take it out to finish cut this right here i just took this out i thought i had to take this whole headache rock out or whatever this thing called the only thing i did take these pins out and loosen these screws right here with a little hex and that's it all right, so pulling the bottom of this here, this is gonna be my template. So when I put the wood floor down, ready to tell me where all my holes are, what I have to cut out, see? So this right here, just lift, put my foot down. So relaxing. All right, about to load it up on the Home Depot. Three quarter wood, one and a half inch. I wanted to get uh, one and a quarter self tapping screws, but they only had one and a half. On the one and a quarter they had, only had um, 25 in it. But this one I get 50, so hopefully it all works out. All right, that's the beauty of it. Eight feet, door's still going close. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Penske, for my new truck. Okay, so I sweeped around a bit. Um, it's the floor, so I didn't need it to be perfect. You can see some dirt still there. Dry fitted this right here. It's about 16 and a half gap right there. So I'm going to start marking my holes. Drill. I'm using self-tapping screws. One and a half inch. I wanted to get one and a quarter, like I said earlier in this video, but Home Depot didn't have it. And the text brand I wanted, so... Just going to use the text, self-topping screws, number 14, one and a half inch. So I mar I'm doing some markings. If you look from here to here, it's three quarter. So you can see the holes where I'm going to drill. And then down here, center point, same thing, three and a quarter. And that end here, same thing, three and a quarter. I don't know how much y'all going to see, but do my best put a little tape at the end here so I don't go too deep into the floor okay so here's the finished product a little less than two hours I want to say I need two screws put two there um, put two there and this baby is done. Started about, I want to say 420. It's now 555 or 551, somewhere in there. That floor not getting done today for sure. So 
this is it um hopefully i help someone else who's getting into expediting or becoming an independent courier or whatever because i looked on youtube none of uh the videos really showed like step by step they really they only showed like the finished product so you guys know everything i use i found out that the smaller the pilot hole the easier it is to drill easier it is to get the holes in but the, at the back here i didn't use any drills but for this one i drilled uh pilot holes and that's it and then like these ones right here are on the ribs so i had a uh, hard right here oh right here this one's on the rib so you can see hard that means put more pressure and right here i just missing two screws but this baby solid i can take i don't know take the world <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to use a straight edge, but this wood ain't straight, so what I'm about to do is put a screw here, put a screw in the middle, and put a screw down there, 19 inches, and that should be straight. So the vine is all done. I just want to show you all what I did underneath to protect it um, from rust. So I did that on all the holes underneath. There you go. It's white, so it's under the vine. Nobody gonna see it. Now, if it was on the surface, then I would buy some yellow paint. Let me see if I can find the spray I use. Water from Walmart. Oh, there it is. So this is what you need. 25% more rust protector. 15 times. got done just got done with I mean I was done with it yesterday but here's the final product I think I did a pretty good job yep 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 that's all folks looks like factory yes 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 I may put some polyurethane on it depending on how durable polyurethane is but for right now this is what I got just finished cleaning it out thank you guys for watching my video if you have any questions please leave them below also everything I use is in the description below don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe until next time guys be great